Did you hear about this giant seaweed blob that's heading to Florida right now? This is what was surprising to me is that it was 5,000 miles wide. This this carpet of seaweed coming to Florida is 5,000 miles wide. The United States is 3,000 miles. So it's wider than the, the from New York from, east, from New York to, to Oregon. From New York to Oregon, it's wider than that. Okay. Wow! By almost double. I read and following this over the course of the week. Uh, I didn't realize, like down in Miami Dade, they spent like six, seven million dollars a year removing seaweed off the beaches. Like that's a, that's a healthy investment to remove the seaweed off the beaches, and here comes up. <laughs> this is supposed to be the largest seaweed blob recorded in the history of the world. Of course, it's coming to Florida, right? The last, the last biggest seaweed blob was in 2018, and it hit the Yucatan P- Peninsula, and all the tourism they they lost like killed it. 40 percent of their tourism. So that's why Dade County will spend six to seven million dollars a year to clear out that stuff when this blob comes they're saying that when it hits the shores this stuff is going to be three feet high when it hits yeah three feet tall and then it rots and then it it rots and and it brings brings in all kinds of uh, jellyfish and mites and like stinging things yeah there's that's a whole ecosystem yeah Yeah. for sure and then it just rots maybe somebody should genetically engineer a a, a bacteria that can eat the seaweed well that's why it's funny that you're bringing that up because the reason why it's growing they're saying is pollution it's eating off the pollution but it's growing and growing and growing get bigger and the thing is is that it can kill the coral reefs